What, what the, the fuck, fuck? <laughs> Gibson? <laughs> Can we say that? I think so. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Baxter and Jonathan from Casino Guitars again. We're here Back. to talk about, well, what are we here to talk about? Everyone's favorite subject. The infamous video put up by Gibson and Mark Agnesi. Ooh. Oh, Gibson. What was going on there? It was entertaining. I'll give them that. So, <laughs> so for those of you who haven't, haven't watched this before, I'm Baxter. I'm not important. This is Jonathan. Jonathan used to work at Gibson. He's worked at Guitar Center. He's worked everywhere. I think he everywhere. Chuck E. Cheese's. I did a stint at the sweatshops over in Asia for a while. At Chuck E. Cheese's. As a child. You yeah. built the robot machines. Yes. Yes. Um, anyway, back to work. So just uh, about last week, Mark, I'm going to call him Mark because um, we're friends now. But um, Mark came out with a video. And it was it went it kind of went off the rails. It, yeah, a little bit. So there, we're gonna be intersplicing clips and whatnot throughout here. You'll be seeing them. But um, it, it was started off pretty normally. I don't know. Well, I, I mean, don't know if it did. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I know that you and I are on we're on sort of opposite ends of the spectrum here. We'll get to I that later. I don't know. Okay, well, let's just it's he started off start off okay, pretty normal. He yeah. looked crazy. He looked crazy. And he he looked like he was reading a script. Yes. Which we don't do because we don't prepare. That's why we say dumb things. <laughs> um, no, but um, it looked like he was reading a script, which is fine. He's not an actor. And, nope, but right. I think he, he does great when he's just flying off the cuff. That's, yeah. his, that's his jam. That's his bread and butter. That's his pudding. And he wasn't doing that. No. And it, and it didn't go well. It didn't go super well. Um, and so he, 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 went, he was going okay for a bit. I know we disagree. We'll get to that in a minute. But then he, then he went kind of like a little bit Batman crazy. Yeah, like Christopher Nolan's Batman. Like I'm very upset. Right, right. Um, about the they're gonna sue everybody if you make an infringement. The the movie thing, which made no sense, um, because Gibson would have to pay you. So obviously, I don't know. Obviously, that was just weird, and this seemed opposite of what he was saying. But back to the, you know, he just came off as threatening. Yeah. <sighs> which for a company who is trying to sort of rebound from some really negative press and negative, you know, thoughts towards them, you just would have thought, maybe that's not to come out with all, all your guns blazing. I, I would say Gibson's, <laughs> Gibson's, Gibson's had a bad, what is it, the year 2019 now? It's almost, you know, we're halfway to 2020. It's, um, they, ever since 2015 is when they really sort of went off it's, it's, the complete proverbial rails again. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, when did you work there again? God, I was there 2000 and... Twelve. Okay, so you were there like sort of in the beginning of the what the f period, like right when I was getting ready. To... I, I when I started work, it was right after. So we could look this up. It was right after the raid. Okay. You know, I literally like like weeks after that. That's when they got yeah. raided for all the rosewoods and stuff. Right from from the government. Part of it, we think, was when Henry was just doing like a big middle finger up to Obama. I think that's probably true. Yeah. <laughs> Obama's like, all right. He just, he just pissed off the wrong people, probably. They're we like, got right, you. Right, here you go. You're a guitar company. Friend. But yeah. back to the story. So so um, I, I'm going to take a little bit of a different side, a tad. Not just for Devil's Advocate, but just some. Fair and and we've already, we didn't we, talk about we, much, but we sort of, I was like, yeah, I might. Mark, I, I'm, I understand what you're trying to say. I think that the, the, the intellectual property of Gibson should be protected. It, um, it is Gibson's right to do so. It's, people shouldn't steal the design. I don't, I'm not a big fan of copycat. The, the cheap copies, obviously, should be just, I don't get it. I don't get that. But, you know, some of the boutique builders are all sort of taking that riff. They do it with Fender. They do it with all the major manufacturers yeah. um, that are decent. And I think it's kind of a bummer and a shame. And I, so I can get that. Um, what do you think? I think, I will say, I, I do feel bad for him a little bit. Because like we don't know, we don't know if that was his idea. If if someone you know said, "Hey, you should say these things," or if they had a gun off camera, we we don't know. There's no but guns off camera. Maybe a flamethrower. He, he sort of looked like there was a gun off camera. But oh. I guess I guess what I what what blows my mind about it is that again, it's not like Gibson's been knocking it out of the park. So it just just wasn't the time to come out. The, the thing I don't like about it either is that they. He almost like threw a little jab at artists who like, how dare you not play a Gibson? When I feel like Gibson's sort of poor quality control in recent years has opened the door to that. Like, hey, I want the Gibson sound and I want something that looks like a Gibson, but. Right, their QC, the quality control right. has been off the chains back. It, well, and it's been so spotty, do you know what I mean? And I, I even know guys, friends of mine own 
on social media who are diehard Gibson like fanboys who are sort of this was like the uh, I'm done. <laughs> well, this is this is some inside information. I just got yeah. back from Fender like, right. just a couple days ago, and I was talking to some guys that are really close to all of the Gibson guys, and they're like, "Well, James Curley, the new CEO, he's doing some good stuff. He is. Like, he is. What he was doing he, as far as QC and quality control, he he went into the quality control department, and they had half the light bulbs were burned out, and it's been this way for years. So he shut down the factories for I think a few days, and just like changed light bulbs, just light bulbs. So you can simple, see. Yeah. So they could see Crazy. if the fret was popping out. Yeah. It was so like I mean that's a big thing. But then then back to this video. I mean even though I su I'm supportive of Gibson's right to defend their intellectual property. Yeah, that's that's true. I do get that. But if you're gonna do that, just like don't put it on a YouTube video. Yeah, have your do it have your sketchy lawyers right. just go like, hey, we're cease and desist orders to like all these nice guitar makers out there. Yeah, easy. That's done. what I, that's what I would say. Just don't. You know, other big companies do that, but you don't you don't hear about it. They don't put out a YouTube video. No. A weird creepy I think YouTube. Video. Every guitar company's probably had to do this. You know, and I think it's even more disappointing because it's sort of on the heels of. The new Gibson models, which are awesome, th that are great. The price has been lowered, so we, I mean, I think we were all like, "Oh, Gibson's making good decisions; they're going to bounce back." And then they and then they do just, that. Then they like their their top player fouled out. Yeah, it's um, it, it's it's tricky. It's I, I don't know. I, I feel really bad for you know Mark. At this I, point, I do too. In some Again, ways, yeah. I think um, I think he'll be okay. He probably doesn't. He's not worrying too much about it. I'm sure it. he's not. But he yeah. might be because. There's a lot of people are saying there might be a gun back there. To, I, I don't think that's how it works. From all my friends at the other corporations and like companies, it's like, it's just it's just a bunch of guitar lovers most for the most part that are in these high levels at you know Gibson, Fender, right. Gretsch. All that. Most everyone plays guitar, and most everyone in these corporate head positions, they kind of do their own thing, and then they go back to the boss, be it you know James or Andy at Fender, and they're like, hey, this is what we're working on, and they're like, yeah, it's a great job, go for it, and then they tweak you a little bit, right. So I, I, Mark probably wrote that script himself. There's a good chance. And Which, again, I, I mean, hope you didn't. <laughs> I mean, as as we understand intellectual property and ideas, and you know, as as musicians, we make things that aren't aren't things. So if people steal our ideas. That's that's all you have. So I, I get all those things. Again, just a really weird way to to so go after it. What we would like to see from any of you out there, if you have the time and and. <laughs> And an iPhone or a Galaxy or something, and besides comments, and all, we would love to see a note-for-note note refilm of this video that we just saw. <laughs> post it up on one of our our, our little sites or something. <laughs> send it to us. We'll post it out to our families. Um, families, but I would call everyone that subscribes to us and all of our watchers strange family because our real families don't like us. Um, but we would love to see lots of versions of that. We were talking about doing it ourselves, kind of like the um. Kanye West, Kim Kardashian, James Franco, Seth Rogen version, <laughs> note for note, take for take. But I just don't want, you would have to be Seth Rogen and he, you're, that means you're Kim Kardashian. Anyway. Uh, I, I, I could do it. I could pull it off. It's really gross. Watch that video too. <laughs> but if you have any comments, questions, we're definitely talking to you. Yeah. We would love to hear what you think about it because I do love Gibsons. I love them. Um, why are you wearing a Fender shirt, by the way? <laughs> Seems like the right thing to do. I don't know. We'll talk about that later. I, hey, I told him we were doing a Gibson video, and he shows up wearing this because he did it just to mess with me, I think. Um, <laughs> we'll talk about that later. <laughs> At home, honey. Okay. Very upset so. about this. But um, <laughs> thanks again for watching. Um, questions, comments? Click like, subscribe, Love click the bell. Yeah, and um, send us some videos, too. Yeah. We just that like would be awesome. Just the last section where he kind of goes a little bit crazy. But we need the sweat marks. And we need the crazy eyes. And really close up of the crazy eyes. Crazy face. We love you all. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Great, great talking with you again. As always. Bye, everyone in Movie Land. We'll talk to you soon. <laughs> Casino Guitars.